What's up everybody, this is Investing Sensei here to bring you a tutorial on the new version of the Google Scripts which will allow you to calculate the dividend yield of your portfolio. Uh, so finally I got time to actually wrap up this uh, new script that I was been working on and uh, I have actually been able to make a tutorial. So first thing, uh, this is assuming that you are at least up to date with one of the latest versions of my Google Scripts uh, from the previous version. So. Uh, you know, I will be making in the future another uh, tutorial where I start from scratch uh, and then allow you to update to the latest one uh, that will allow you to skip all the previous versions. So look forward to that one. But uh, right now, this one is assuming you are up to date, at least with one of my latest versions. Uh, but the first thing that uh, this new script allows you to do is that uh, it's actually going to allow you to calculate the dividend yield of your portfolio. So you'll see my dividend yield for the portfolio is 1.47 percent compared to uh, last week's which was 1.42 percent uh, the reason why this went up is because the stock market has been going down and a lot of my stocks are down so remember that when the stock goes down and it pays out a dividend typically the dividend yield will go up uh, so that is why you see the difference in it going up this value here assumes that uh if you were to purchase my whole portfolio at the current price right now, that's what would be your starting dividend yield uh, for your portfolio. Uh, so the, the other one that we do get is projected dividend yield on cost, which is 2.57%. Uh, this uh, dividend yield uh, is calculated on your cost basis. So this is all the amount of money you, you invested, plus all the dividends that have been reinvested. This basically just, uh, takes away unrealized gains and that will tell you your true dividend yield on cost which just should typically be a lot higher if you have been investing for a couple years now which you'll see the difference here uh, long term i hope to uh you know see this a lot higher because we are continuing to dollar cost average and uh you'll see that my uh, dividend yield for the overall portfolio is 1.47 which is a very very small dividend yield uh, and that is because i am invested in companies that have five-year kagers that are double digit uh, and they should be growing a lot higher in the coming years uh, because my time horizon is a lot longer and so that is why my dividend yield is much lower uh, you'll see the yield on cost is about 2.57 which i think is a pretty good solid safe dividend yield but uh yeah this is what uh, the script will allow you to calculate if i show you guys here the holdings real quick uh, you'll see that there'll be a couple new columns so you'll see cost basis uh, cost per share well i guess cost basis per share yield on cost dividend yield and if we look over here the holding percentage so those are the new columns you should receive with this tutorial and if we look over here at the github repository which uh, this is called dividend portfolio tracker uh, be sure to follow me it's called coding sensei and uh, you know remember that uh, i don't charge for uh, any of these scripts all i ask is that you're subscribed with that bell notification you can drop a big thumbs up on my videos uh, and uh, that is all i ask in return as well if you have any cool ideas that we can add to these let me know in the comments section so that we can see if we can add them and just improve this in general for everybody uh, but uh, if we look over here to releases you will see that uh, this new release is called 5.2.0 I go ahead and tell you all this information that I previously just went over. You can uh, see everything I highlighted and, uh, you know, just you can uh, actually read this. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump into the actual tutorial if you are interested in uh, updating to this version. So I'm going to actually pull up an old version of my Google scripts, I guess Google Sheets, and then uh, let me get that ready for you guys. All right, guys, there is actually one thing I forgot to show you before we actually jump into the tutorial, and that's actually showing you uh, the, the actual scripts running. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. So I'm in holdings. You go over here, portfolio tools, update portfolio holdings. What this is going to do is going to wipe everything and you'll see everything recalculated. It will obviously be the same information because I have not updated my new portfolio settings, but uh, we will update that in the old version of the Google Sheets. But let's go ahead and click on this you'll see everything will get wiped and then if we go over here to dashboard you'll see everything's getting calculated which is pretty awesome in real time and so yeah so if you are interested stick around i'm gonna go ahead and pull the old version of the google sheets 
all right guys so i have an old version of my google sheets uh, you'll see that it's pretty old so far uh, it actually if we look at holdings you will see that it has no columns for cost basis or yield on cost etc so uh, let's go ahead and get started if we go over here first thing we'll need to do is actually pull up the script so if we go to extensions you'll see uh, app scripts click on that uh, this is actually going to pull up the information for you and so at this point uh, we are good to go. We're, we're going to actually jump over to the GitHub repository and I will show you how to get to the code from there and we'll, we'll uh, update everything for us. So I am going to pull up right here. This is a uh, GitHub co uh, code base, everything. Go over here to releases. Uh, we want to make sure that we are on the version that we're actually updating to. So 5.0.0. I guess 5.2.0 click on it uh, what this is going to do is going to take you at that point in time and history of that code base so you'll see up here it should say 5.2.0 so we are ready to go you're going to click on the portfolio tool scripts uh, there's a couple files that i did update in this and that is the readme which just provides information and formulas and then uh, the populate holdings which is the main important one so you click on that click on raw and uh, this should pull up everything Go ahead and click uh, control a this should copy every well, i guess uh, select everything right click copy and this should copy it into your uh, clipboard then you can jump back over to the uh, the scripts on google sheets click on the populate holdings you'll go ahead and do control a and uh, delete everything and then right click paste and uh, that should be basically it for the google sheets the next one that we actually need to do guys is actually update our temper monkey so you're gonna actually go up here to the top click on this through I guess this little uh, square that says temper monkey so click on it uh, you're gonna click on dashboard but real quick in case you don't see it you'll click on this uh, little extensions and you should be able to see it uh, but go ahead and click on dashboard this should pop up a new uh, tab click on the personal uh, capital holdings getter we're actually going to go ahead and control a delete all of this because i'm assuming you are up to date at least to one of the latest versions of the scripts we're going to jump back over to github go back and uh we're actually going to go back one and then uh, we're actually going to go back one more and at this point you're going to click temper monkey Remember, you still need to have 5.2.0 uh, there. Click on uh, the personal capital brokerage holdings. You're gonna click raw again, and uh, you're gonna do control A, right click, copy. Then we're gonna jump back over to the temper monkey, right click, paste as plain text, and then uh, just do control S or go right here to file, save, and then uh, that should save it. Uh, so that should have everything in there for us. The next thing we do want to do is go ahead and you can actually close this. Uh, and uh, we need to go to the README on GitHub. So back and uh, you're going to go back one more. And then you should be here, Portfolio Tool Scripts. Click on this. Remember, it should still say 5.2.0. And then you're going to go down here to the README. And we're going to have to actually update some of this formulas. Uh, in our Google Sheets. So uh, now that we are there, we're gonna go ahead and go over here to the actual Google Sheets. Uh, we're gonna update everything for us and uh, we'll update this for. So first one that we're gonna do here is going to be projected dividend yield. And again, you don't have to place it here. You could. Uh, do whatever you want you can place it wherever you want the information is going to be there available for you so it's up to you on what you want to do i'm just showing you exactly what i have and how to get to that and how to do it uh, so that one is there we'll go ahead and uh go ahead and do this one while we're there we'll go ahead and uh highlight this in bold and then I will go ahead and see if we can get this color back we'll do uh, this color again 
color this down and then uh, we will see here so we're actually gonna merge this this looks like it's merged this looks like it's merged uh, the will merge, merge these two values and then this looks merged and then at this point we're actually going to delete this right here delete this and let's go ahead and just make it nice and neat uh, we will go ahead and do the borders and uh, we'll call, color this from copy this color here there we go okay so we'll go ahead and center these just to make them pretty to the left uh, and uh, we are ready to put the formulas in so first one is going to be projected dividend yield so if we jump over to the github on the readme you'll see uh, projected i guess for portfolio dividend yield we're just going to copy this and you're going to right click copy and we're going to jump back over you're going to right click pay special values only and uh, at that point that should be good and then uh, if we look over here you're going to go ahead and do the one for portfolio dividend yield on cost copy this right click copy jump back over right click pay special values only and then we should be ready to go guys so at this point in time we're going to jump over to settings and uh, we're going to actually delete uh, this information because we need to jump over to personal capital grab the latest version of our portfolios and then i uh, you know it should hold the cost basis and everything for us so let's jump over to personal capital and i'll see you over there all right guys so right here in personal capital under my m1 account you'll see this green button uh you'll want to make sure on the top that this little ci is a number one it's temper monkey make sure that it's enabled the personal capital holdings getter You'll want to refresh this if you updated the scripts which we did so just make sure you refresh the page so that the new script version information can be uh, actually used so at this point you're going to click copy uh, this is actually going to get the latest version of your portfolio with the cost basis which is actually going to be pretty awesome so you're going to jump over to the google sheets and uh, then you're just going to right click paste special values only and then at this point everything uh, should be ready to go but uh, just in my case I am going to actually uh, go ahead and do dividend payout and scroll down here I need to actually grab the latest information from my uh, tickers just because otherwise it's not going to populate any information but you're going to click get latest dividends just because I need uh, the information from here uh, updated uh, so there it goes but uh, you don't have to do this if you are up to date with one of the latest versions uh, but uh, i am just doing it just to be safe okay so now we are ready to go you're going to go to holdings click portfolio tools update portfolio holdings and uh, hopefully everything should work so you see everything now uh, tickers uh, shares price value cost basis which i guess we can uh, extend this a little bit and uh, then you'll see cost basis per share and then yield on cost dividend yield uh, and then annual payout and then you'll see over here the holdings so uh, at this point I'm gonna go see if uh, you can just go ahead and add the filters if you want to uh, at this point uh, you can do the dividend yield which at this point this column really needs to be a percentage uh, and then this yeah, everything looks pretty good. So if we go over here to the dashboard, this should be a percentage. And uh, this should be a percentage as well. And so you see that that information is there good to go with uh, dividend yield on cost. Uh, this information, I'm not sure why it's not working, but uh, everything else should work for you. Uh, this is an old version of my Google Sheets, so I don't really want to, which I guess I'll go ahead and fix it for you guys real quick. So if we go over here to tools, uh, look at the for annual dividend income. I'll go ahead and copy this because remember that uh, the actual um, columns did change. So we'll go ahead and delete this, right click, paste, special values only, and there we go. So 
there we go and uh, it looks like everything should be working now for you guys but uh, that is the tutorial guys hopefully you guys found it useful and uh, let me know what else you guys would like to see in the future uh, i will catch you guys in the next video be sure that you're subscribed with that bell notification if you found this helpful as well be sure to drop a big thumbs up that's all i ask in return for all this information and i will see you guys in the next video take care stay safe out there bye guys